What's up turtles? It's Crick here, Black Owl Outdoors. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Soto micro, micro regulator stove, top of canister stove. If you get a little bit closer I'll show you the stove up close. The stove comes in this black bag, this black cinched bag. There are other top of canister stoves that come in a plastic sort of protective case which I really like. I'm not sure why Soto didn't do that. It's not a big a big concern for the stove but it would have been nice. So this stove is super 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 light in the world of backpacking and top of canister stoves. This weighs at only 2.6 ounces. You know I'm not a guy, I'm not a per, you know, the type of person that is so worried about weight that every tenth of an ounce matters to me, that I'm only buying the product the lightest, all that. But, you know, the stove's light and it's small, and, you know, most top of canister stoves, all of them are going to be light, you know, relative, so. Um, as you can see, the Soto emblem right here is actually on this piezo lighter which is a really cool feature about the stove that I like. And it's a self-igniter, meaning I can just click this, you can hear it, and with the gas turned on, this will start it. And you don't need a match or lighter to, to light the stove, and it's a nice feature, but you should always have a match or lighter in your bag, whether you're backpacking, camping, whatever, you know, this is, this doesn't mean you don't have to bring a lighter or matches with you when you want to use the stove, you know, always have a lighter or matches. There's three feet on the stove. They they slide up, out, and then down, and they lock in the place. There's really not too much to it. It's pretty self-explanatory. The system, the design. Once you have the feet out, you can pull down the little handle for the for the gas. A canister of this size which is 250 grams of fuel, the ISO butane propane mix which the stove runs off of, this will last about one and a half hours of burn time, which is, you know, it's, it's about what, what, what you'd expect for the stove. Stowed dimensions, the stowed stove dimensions is two inches by two inches by 3.2 inches. And I don't know if you can see next to the stove for scale or next to this container canister. It's really small. This uh, the the stove is named the micro regulator, and the micro regulator is contained inside the top of this. And what that does is it, uh, the company claims this will aid in you know more efficient and consistent burn at higher elevations and I've read a couple reviews where people had it um, where the the piezo igniter stopped working at higher elevation I've used used the stove at over 10,000 feet and I didn't have an issue and the wet the temperature was about you know right about freezing in the morning so and I had no problem so I'm not sure exactly what elevation this will stop working but like I said it's always you know nice to have a lighter and matches regardless if you have a stove or not and like all top of canister stoves, stability is a worry. And they make and companies make cool little stove feet that I just attach to the bottom of the canister to help in that. I have yet to buy some. I think I'm going to just to test them out, see how you know how much it increases stability. I've used a small six inch cast iron on this to make some hot snossages and I wouldn't recommend really doing anything heavier than that just for the fact of you know it's a, it's a delicate little piece of equipment you don't want to put too much weight on it and for the sake of diameter sitting on top of it you know spilling it will increase as the size increases of the pot or pan but to, to, to light the stove you turn the gas on, you turn this one and a half times. You start hearing a little gas, click. 
sounds like a not like a jet or a rocket or something. It's cool, but this the noise it's a, it's, a, it's appropriate for for top of canister storage. You're gonna have some you know you're gonna have noise with the fuel. Not a big issue. But all in all, it's, a, it's more expensive. The stove is a little bit more expensive on uh, the scale for top of canister stoves. You, know, you can get ones for thirty dollars cheaper. But with the igniter, you know, with the claim that it you know works works well in high elevation, and that it has a consistent burn up until the canister is empty. There's no lack of fuel or intensity burn. When the when the fuel gets low, it's a, it's a consistent output right until the very end, which is for efficiency. Um, it's a really great feature. So with all those things added up, recommend this stove. It's nice, and it'll make you some good food. This is Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. Just finished the review on the micro regulator stove by Soto. Stay safe, turtles.